in 2016. On January that year, I lost my mom. That was very, very difficult. And the sad part, she was expecting a baby. I was hoping that summer I was to go travel home and see my baby sister, because then my mom was just uh, eight and a half months pregnant. I came home. I stayed with my dad for three months and uh, during this time my dad lost his job so it was just messy. When I talk about this it makes me really sad. During that moment my dad was very tearful. I'd never seen my dad cry <laughs> but it was good to see how vulnerable he was. It was good to see the side of loss that maybe if I just moved through nursing without seeing people hurting my level of compassion will not be this deep. In the event of my mom passing, I was very curious to know what had happened to her and uh, all the cases that had happened were deemed to be cases that could have been prevented. So it made me very angry because I thought, why is our healthcare system like this? By the time I was going to university, my family was in a very hard place and MasterCard Foundation has been a critical part of my journey. They help high school students and then post high school education. They also offer opportunities for scholars who qualify to go to partner universities, where in these partner universities, they get scholarship opportunities. Like my case, I was able to qualify at McGill University for the scholarship. And that has been a really great part of my journey until I'm here now to be a leader in my community. In 2018, I saw there was a grant by MasterCard Foundation and the Resolution Project in Kigali, so I applied for it. So through this grant, I said maybe I can get some finances to help with the research and see what I learned and how I can add value into the mental health research in Kenya. I met this mom with postpartum psychosis and she was going through an active phase I mean, she was showing signs of not being herself. She was showing signs of being violent. She was restrained on a stretcher by four security guys. And I know restraining is a really difficult topic. When you see someone being held down, there are ways of dealing with this. But in this case, the security guys were holding her down and she had a younger baby. This was my first time encountering a mom with postpartum psychosis. It affects mothers and their ability to care for their babies. And unfortunately, sometimes the medical field in Kenya is not well equipped or versed in ensuring they have early screening for postpartum depression. So at this moment, I was still thinking, what is the best thing to do? I don't have a way of doing research right now. I could do a phone research. I could follow up with the women, but it will be really difficult to gather data. So I forgo with the idea of doing a phone conversation and thought, why don't we just leapfrog all the steps of research and just make a telecommunication platform, which we decided was going to be an app. So we decided to make Bridge Me, which was going to connect therapists to patients and patients to therapists. So we're bridging care to those who need it most and ensuring we are using evidence-based research. Ah, hi Faith, how are you? I'm good. 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 I met Faith last year around August or September and late last year in December, we signed the contract and started developing. The Cactus Mama Bridge Me app works in three ways. We use web and video conferencing to connect the uh, therapist to the client who is the patient. So you download the app, from the app you're able to see the therapies that are available. You can book one, once you book one and pay for the session. When the session is due, maybe we at 11 a.m. Uh, the therapist gives you a call back uh, via the app and the video is encrypted and everything that happens is encoded so that for privacy, no one can access to it. Even us on the back end cannot access to it. So having an avenue that by a click of your phone you can have this, I think will be a very big game changer to this. And a community or a nation that is mentally well is a productive nation and I really believe in that vision.
We hope to impact Kenya by creating better Kenya that's healthy within our community and within our nation so that people can say they went to Cactus Mama, they found people who cared and they feel better and they feel they can live happier lives.